Good morning, I'm Operations Specialist First Class Surfer Warfare Manuel Garcia. I'm currently a water survival instructor. I have been a search and rescue swimmer for 12 years. What we do here is we go ahead and qualify swimmers to be ready and for the recruits to be ready to go out to the fleet. What that entails, it entails four objectives. The first objective is everyone will have to step from a 10 foot tower into a 12 feet deep pool which is warmed between 80 to 85 degrees. They will swim 50 meters. After they swim 50 meters, they will then proceed to the next objective, which is the prone float, which is five minute uh, float on your face. After that, they will do the coverall inflation. After that, they will then proceed to the final of abandoned ship, which then again, they will have to step off a 10 foot platform into a 12 feet pool. They will swim to the raft, get in the raft, then swim out. After that, everything is completed and there are now third class swim qualifiers. If by any chance during any portion of the swim qualification they were uh, asked to be exited out of the pool, they will have another chance to qualify. But within a second qualifying chance, then it would be only to swim on your back and also to float on your back. The other coverall inflation and abandoned ship is still considered to be the same. Now, what I would recommend for all the new recruits coming into the Navy is to just have an open mind. Do not worry about failure. Failure is nothing to be negative about. Failing should be considered as just finding another way of how not to do it. Not that you failed and that you cannot proceed on. Also, what I would recommend is if you are available, go ahead and get swimming lessons before you come. Swimming lessons will help you when coming to the pool for your swim. Keep your mind open and your ears open and listen to what we say and everything will go good.